All right, we are here at the Weston A. Price Conference, and this is Mark, and he is with a stainless steel bottle company, which... Bottles. Bottles. Okay, there we go. All right, Mark, so can you tell us about what your products are and what you do? And also, you just showed me a uh, really cool ceramic. It's like completely ceramic cup. Yeah, this is uh, my new double wall porcelain cup. It's 11 ounces. Very popular for refill programs for coffee shops and tea houses. We're mm -hmm. just people on the go right. that really have found comfort in this shape. Right. It's really nice to hold. <laughs> if you have small hands. And very warm. It's very warm and cozy. If you have small hands, you can wrap your little hands around the base yeah. and then find it, work your way up. Yeah. It's a nice cup to cuddle up to, especially for um, you know for toasty beverages. Um, when you put the beverage inside, it, it does not burn your hands if it's hot. Nice. If it's cold, it keeps it cold. It's yeah. insulated. And, Very nice. And uh, reusable silicone lid. Uh-huh. It actually fits on the paper cups that are disposed. Um, this is one of many products that we use in which to create an alternative uh, uh, for um, other than single-serving uh, bottles, cups, or... Um, or mugs. So is, so is the main thing you guys do stainless steel? Is that like no, not no? at all. No, we okay. do a lot of uh, we do a lot of uh, porcelain. We do a lot of BPA-free plastic, right? Which we found very popular for people uh, just that. Because that's the new bad boy on the block from for from a plastic perspective. That's like the, what everybody's trying to avoid right now. People like to see their um, their capacities, mm -hmm. and so we've learned that. Uh, we started off with just stainless steel, uh -huh. um, but people like to see their capacities and monitor. And, and, they would uh, see through it and just see what's going on. Yeah, how, so how much we, did I drink? Where am I at with my intake yeah. for the day? Yeah. Um, so, so we do stainless steel. We do BPA-free plastic. We have a we have a trademark line called Be Free, BPA-free. Nice. Uh, we compete with Cam Camelback and Nalgene. Uh -huh. um, we're also a major. Uh, we are the we are the people behind the major movement of ban the bottle. So okay. we've, we have eight universities now that have completely banned the plastic I've bottle. I've seen that program, yes. Yeah, we started that program. Very neat. Um, Australia, London in Australia is a completely bottle-less um, um, bottle town. Yeah. Uh, or plastic-free. Yeah. Uh, bottle All right, so now I'm going to ask you the hard question, because yesterday we were in a conference and a doctor made the recommendation that even stainless steel should be avoided to put your 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 anything you're going to be drinking to put in stainless steel, which is the direction I was moving in because I'm moving away from the plastics personally and so I was moving towards stainless steel. What is your response to that, um, to, to you know, her allegation that the nickel and the stainless steel is going to cause a problem? Huh. Well, I've never had an aluminum sink or a plastic sink in my house or an aluminum you know, shower <laughs> faucet. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming that um, if internationally stainless steel is accepted for commercial grade use for preparing food products and water and liquids, right. Uh, or health beverages. Uh, I would I would hope that she does her research and talks to the same people that approve the stainless steel is is uh, uh, used internationally for food preparation. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. You. Therefore, it could be used to transport water. Yeah. So, um, if anybody wants to check out your company, where do where Maybe can they go? Maybe she's in the glass business. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> Just so, uh, where, if people want to find your company, where can they go? Where? I'll give you a card. Well, I mean, can you tell them the name of the website? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's um, Bottle, S-S. Uh-huh. Bottle, S-S, meaning stainless steel. Right. So, but it comes off as less bottles, uh, you know. So, uh, is it dot .com or dot .org? Dot or .org. Dot .org. Okay. Yeah, there we go. .org. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mark. Hope yeah. you have a great afternoon. Thank you. All right. Take care.